Now let's discuss the next MCQ. A study began in 1970 with a group of 5,000 adults in Delhi who were asked about their alcohol consumption. The occurrence of cancer was studied in this group between 1990 to 1995. This is an example of options are cross-sectional study, retrospective cohort study, concurrent cohort study and case control study. Now if you look into this question, the study is actually beginning in the year 1970 with 5000 adults who are asked about their exposure status which is alcohol consumption and the occurrence of cancer is studied between 1990 to 1995 which is 20 years later. Okay, so study is beginning in 1970 and the study subjects are asked about their exposure status which is alcohol consumption and the outcome or the disease cancer is studied between 1990 to 1995 okay 1990 to 1995 which is almost 20 years later so what kind of study design is this the study is moving forward from the cause to the effect from exposure to outcome so it is a forward looking cohort study all right it is a forward looking cohort study okay now can this be let's discuss with the options can this be a cross-sectional study definitely not why this is not a cross-sectional study because for a cross-sectional study both the exposure and outcome should occur at the same point of time but in this question only the exposure is occurring at the beginning of the study and we are moving forward for the outcome to occur so both exposure and outcome should occur at the same time in a cross-sectional study so cross-sectional study is not the answer for this question now can this be a case control study now this is not a case control study why i am saying so first reason is this is moving forward in time from cause to effect okay whereas in a case control study it is a backward looking study which will move from effect to cause okay that is from outcome to exposure from disease to the risk factor okay if the disease if the study design is looking backward then it is a case control study okay so this is not a case control study now it should be between retrospective cohort study or a concurrent cohort study it should be between two of these options. Now how to decide whether it is retrospective or concurrent cohort study based on the beginning of the study, year of start of the study. Okay, here the study is beginning in 1970 and it is moving forward. We are looking for the outcome to occur. So it is here concurrent cohort study. Concurrent cohort study is also called as prospective cohort study so it is nothing but a prospective cohort study which begins with exposure we go forward in time to look for the development of the disease okay so it is a prospective cohort study now why this is not a retrospective cohort study see in a retrospective cohort study both exposure and outcome should have occurred before the start of the study okay whereas in this question only exposure has occurred uh, at the beginning of the study and we are looking for the development of the disease okay so for a retrospective cohort study both exposure and outcome should have occurred at the beginning of the study now if the same question should have been a retrospective cohort study the study should have been actually beginning in the year 1970 the study is beginning in the year 1970. If suppose the investigator goes back in time. Okay. Suppose he goes back in time. He collects the history 20 years before. 1950. History of exposure status from past medical records. And he goes forward in time 20 years. And checks for the development of the disease till date. In 1970. Then you can call it as a retrospective cohort study. Whereas here it starts from 1970 
they are moving forward waiting for 20 years for the disease to occur in 1990 so this is here clear cut concurrent or a prospective cohort study okay